Welcome back to Daytime Live. Now, before we get into our chat segment, we wanted to hear from T.O.K. and Craigie T, who are currently on tour. Let's take a look. Daytime Live. <laughs> Daytime, live. I like that. In our club. Why not? The last time him and Bassy were here, they. You wanted to be the dog. I was a part of the group. You wanted to be the dog. They, they, yeah, they said that I was a part of the group, yeah. and then Cotta don't even tell me. You know, so I talked me, I talked to Kenji, and I breeze me in the, in the, in the phone. <laughs> and you're like, did you fly I mean, I said, out without I mean, me? I said, Kenji, okay, a big breeze that. But were you practicing songs? Were you in the studio practicing how many is and then I don't need, I don't need, oh, I don't need for the other oh, something there. Oh, oh, you just like run on for stage and take it. I don't run on. You know the routine them? Everything I know. The only thing I have to hear. Okay. And we can't put it. Fear to put a pot. Fear to put a pot. You know what I'm saying? No? No, listen. All right. The Association of Christian Communicators and Media, the ACCM, is urging Jamaicans oh, to oppose the government's plan to ban corporal punishment in homes. They believe the state's handling of disciplinary issues in schools raises concerns about its ability to intervene in family matters. Yes, Dr. Patience Alonge, chair of ACCM's subcommittee on family and gender, calls for a balanced approach to child training. While condemning child abuse, she urges well, she argues that mild, age-appropriate slapping as a form of discipline should not be considered abuse, citing biblical principles. So the big question is, what do you think? Is corporal punishment necessary to keep children disciplined and safe? Or can the recent uptick in school violence be related to a lack of effective parenting at home? And in that we open Richard, talk to me now. Richard, talk what to do me. I think? Yeah. Well, I'll start off by being very honest. I'm always very honest here using my experiences, whether we agree with them or disagree. I was the child that used to get beaten enough from my mother, never my dad, but mommy was like a quick to beat type of person. And then I had a child and I was like, well, this is how you should raise. I was like quick to beat, different type of beating though, because I was like, I would never, I believe you should never hit with your hand. Your temper, yeah. And you should never hit. Me say, yo, no, figo, don't let it. Like if I am, if I am incensed in that way. Okay, it means no, beating in style. Me say, you, no, figo, don't. Like, no. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it'd be like a three slaps or I would be quite um, determined or focused as to what type of punishment, three slaps, four slaps, whatever. And then as she got to a certain age, I think she got to about eight. I was like, this is not the way. And I started feeling, like when I looked into her little face and saw the fear, like when you're, and you see her face, I was like, this must be traumatic for her. Like, this is just not it. So now, we very much after that practiced um, enough talking, enough like, why did you do that? Like, what da da da? And I will say, everybody that knows Bailey know that she's very obedient, she's very disciplined, she's very thoughtful, she's very compassionate. And we've even spoken about that and she shared her opinion on being beaten versus not being beaten and how she felt and it's unnecessary, I think. And I think it's poor. I think Jamaica, and I'm so sorry to cut you off because I know you probably have a lot to say too. I think Jamaica, we live in a survival mentality most of the time. Me too, like yeah, survive, life hard, I, yeah, yeah, go through. And sometimes with that level of cortisol, stress level coursing through us, we do things that if we are sitting in our calm place, we won't necessarily do. And I think sometimes we punish our children from that place of, you know, tension and frustration and stress. I don't think we would do it if we were surviving better. Begin. What do you think? All right. You think it's them um, should keep the punishment? In, in, in terms of a direct, direct answer to the question, I don't think any government, any state, any outside influence should make any laws that say, as a parent, this is how you should discipline your child or not. You know your child best, you know what to work for them, right? Um, with, 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 with that being said, I'm not opposed to corporal punishment at all. Um, 
I do agree that you have some parents who overdo it. You have some parents who, who do overdo it. And then you have, I've seen where parents that they try to be their child's friend rather than be their parent. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I can definitely say we have been gradually and systematically moving away from norms or what we or, or what we call you norms traditions? because right traditions and has it been better for our society has it been better for our children and i'm not talking about this corporal punishment alone i'm just talking how we are raising our children are they better i i, I don't see that they're better because I really think that we are moving into the space where the child is almost determining how they are they are grown. You know, mm -hmm. you're, you're talking and so a child is a bunch. A children are a bunch of emotions, raw emotions mm -hmm. that they don't know how to um, mm -hmm. focus just yet. As parents, we need to be guiding that. Mm -hmm. I do think that this correlation that co that corporal punishment is. Directly associated with how children are become being more violent now. I don't think that is it. Mm. Um, I think there's a lot more factors. I think it's what they're watching. I think it's what they're not watching. I think it's where they're going, where they're not going. I think who they're interacting with and who they're not interacting with. So I think there's a whole, whole, a whole mm. plethora wider whole well, heap of things that then saying move this away, saying hey. This can't happen in your. This am I am I am I am I yeah, still am I? Well, here's am, the am thing. I, I think and I, I love everything you've said. I do believe that you, you have to, governments have to pass law for guidance. You know what I mean? It can't just be everybody do what you want. So that's why I believe in passing a law that we're all like navigating somehow and we implement it how we, however it's implemented in your home. But I do think statistics shows that a child who was raised with violence will be violent. No. Right? So if your partner, if you are at home and your father or mother is hitting your father or mother, the likelihood is that son or daughter will grow up to hit their partner as well. Oh, oh well, that, that's their... different. That, no, but I'm that, saying these different. are stuff that you learn in the house. Somebody that, who right. is, somebody who is brought up on being, receiving, beaten, will grow up to, to beat. Not or grow up to. Me not say my opinion, me not I tell you how it says that. No, I'm not saying not necessarily. Of course you I, have exceptions to the rules. Some I people are like, I saw my mother getting dumb, me not cheat on the body. We did get fixed when the time for we get yeah. fixed up, you understand? Yeah. And I'm not inclined to violence. My brothers are not. You don't know that. Final. No, still. Do you want me? Do you Right. But we grew up like that. Mm. I mean, a whole generation of us. Um, I do think, but even the way we raise our children now, it's very much wrapped up in the colonization of Jamaica and how we, it, it's in the slavery mindset of keep your child quiet, you don't want them, put them head up, they might get stolen, they might get dirt. And we raise our children like that and we still continue to do so. So if there's a way we can turn back those type of things from colonization, slavery, make we try something new and if it don't work, bring it back in a hundred years. Well, um, yeah. we can talk about this, but I love so, segment done. So don't you think that is also a tradition that we've learned from our ancestors, Dufton? Uh, yes and no, because across a myriad of, of um, cultures, not just African culture, mm. uh, or colonizers, that people used to get beaten when they get trouble. See, we need more time. This is a really good, this is a really good um, chat subject. We need more time. Unfortunately, we don't have any more. We're out. Um, let us know your thoughts. Check out our social media. Talk to us. Talk to things. Let us know what you think. On that note, Daytime Live will be right back. And we have a music video from Rihanna. We'll soon come.